Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to configure data collection in SQL Server. Data collection is part of management data warehouse in SQL Server. Um, if you wanted to collect the data related to SQL Server instance, such as performance data, disk, I.O., memory usage, CPU usage, uh, or transactions uh, per second in SQL Server, you can use uh, data collection in SQL Server and uh, you can uh, um, really take advantage of this uh, particular feature. Um, called data collection in SQL Server. So before we configure data collection, we do need to configure management data warehouse, which is I have already done it. If you don't know how to configure management data warehouse in SQL Server, please watch my video how to configure uh, management data warehouse in SQL Server. Once uh, that particular uh, configuration is done, then we can go ahead and configure data collection and use that data warehouse database to upload all our collected data on a particular SQL Server instance. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. Here is my scenario that this is my Tech Brother client and SQL Server mirror. This is one my server, one of my SQL Server, and this is other SQL Server. I'm interested to collect all the data on Tech Brother SQL SQL production instance and upload it in Data Warehouse. But before I upload it, I have to create a database right here data warehouse on another instance which i'm going to use as my data warehouse instance so i created a data warehouse called performance data warehouse on this and i have configured this particular database as management data warehouse if you don't know how to configure that please do watch my video uh, and uh, i'm going to show you real quick right here if you right click on uh, data collection and go to task right here is configure management data warehouse this part needs to be completed before you can configure data collection right here so i have completed already this part watch my video how to configure management data warehouse so we're going to go ahead and use this data warehouse database and upload all the performance related data of sql production instance and put it in this database and upload is called uploading our performance related data in perform uh, in this database so what we're going to do this is already configured we're gonna go ahead on SQL production instance we're going to go ahead expand the management we're going to go ahead and go on collect data right click task and configure data collection so go ahead click next and right here is asking that where is that data warehouse database that you created what instant have you created you can create basically on the same instance but i wouldn't recommend that that's not recommended uh, data warehouse tend to have a lot of read io operation and it can really bring down the performance but um, if you are just doing demo that's okay but uh, uh, in your real production you do want data warehouse uh, on a separate instance um, and have a faster IO disk up there. So we're gonna go ahead and select our instance where our data warehouse is and in my case is Tech Brother Client SQL Mirror is my instance where I have that data warehouse configured that database. So we're gonna go ahead and connect and click here. As you can see that uh, I have multiple databases on SQL Mirror since I have configured only one database performance DWH for my uh, uh, management data warehouse, it's going to show only one. So next thing is that uh, before this is just for the performance, uh, it would like to cache everything before it uploads to our target server, which is uh, uh, Tech Brothers client. It's going to cache everything in a particular directory and then start uploading it. This is um, uh, receive and queue uh, process basically that uh, it'll queue everything um, and cache everything in that directory it just uh, make makes it much easier for SQL Server and much faster to upload the data so we're gonna go ahead and basically uh, right here is my um, we're gonna go ahead and select uh, I'm going to create a new I'm going to use per flog this is my um, this is my directory where I want it to cache before it uploads and select data collector set where you want to enable I do want to system data collect sets collects performance st statistics for general purposes troubleshooting it's going to do that I do I'm not I'm interested in that and I also wanted to collect the for the transaction performance issue so we're gonna go ahead and select both 
right here and right here you have a uh, use a SQL Server agent proxy for remote upload what account that you I already configured an account that it's going to basically use that you can go ahead and create a SQL Server proxy account for upload the remote uploads when I talk about remote uploads that's maybe SQL Server management studio or maybe maybe a, a, a another SQL Server instance where this uh, um, uh, where the user that basically is going to run is not uh, doesn't have any uh, permissions on target server so we're gonna go ahead and leave this uh, default so we're gonna go ahead and click next and right here is all the summary we're gonna go ahead and finish it is going to take a minute all right everything went successful we're gonna go ahead close and we're going to go ahead and refresh this and as you can see right here as soon as data collection is configured it gets enabled you don't get an option before you configure data collection to enable it you can disable it later but up here the procedure usage analysis which is uh, your disk IO and all that table usage analysis all that uh, uh, this, this is system data disk usage statistics server activities utility information right now is disabled you can go ahead and basically enable that too but um, in this video uh, just I wanted to show you that how to configure data collection after you configure um, right here configure after you have configured management data warehouse so again uh, I do want to mention that this is this part is mandatory uh, before you go ahead and collect and configure the uh, uh, data collection in SQL Server and I hope this video helps